Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another full day of eating, a what I eat in a day video on bikini prep. Obese to two piece. Today I'm going to be just taking you through my day as always, showing you what I, what I eat. I am currently eating 1,750 calories. And if you enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing, click the bell button, because I am actually sharing my journey to the stage. I This is my first ever bikini competition. I used to be morbidly obese. I decided to go on a weight loss journey. I counted my calories and I moved more. And you know, I got into the fitness lifestyle and then now I, you know, decided I want to compete. So yeah, that's what I will be doing. And I'm sharing my journey and I share loads of weight loss tips and stuff. So if that is something that interests you, then yeah, subscribe. But it is morning, it is breakfast time and I've woken up extra hungry that it will be my life now waking up extra hungry so i would like to have my breakfast i have already made it if you would like to see how i make my oats it's a bowl of oats with chocolate protein powder 200 grams of strawberries 50 grams of raspberries and 50 grams of blueberries and on the top i've got 15 grams of peanut butter and i've got some skinny food co sugar-free syrup sugar and then skinny food co sugar-free flavor drops on there a cup of coffee with some sweetener unsweetened almond milk and uh, skinny food co flavor syrup in there if you would like to see how i make this i did make it in my last what i eat in a day i don't show it every single time because like today is a tuesday i've got kids to get to school i'm in a rush so i can't just show you guys exactly how i make it every single day so if you would like to see how i make it then go to that video the hangry video where i was hangry and i made my breakfast for you guys to show you how exactly how i make this but for the skinny food co products they are all zero calories and I have an affiliate link, which I always leave in my description down below. If you order through there, I get a bit of commission with no extra charge to you, so I appreciate it. And I'll also leave the details to my discount codes where you can save some money in the description down below as well. So, you know, but I love a big bowl of oats. So good. Like, I can't even talk right now. I'm just enjoying my food. Mm. But I also just wanted to show you quickly, after I eat, I will be taking my omega-3 fish oils. And I have actually started taking some multivitamins. This is a woman's health one. I actually just picked these up in Lidl's. But yes, yeah, so I have been taking that as well. So them two. And I've got my bottle of no added sugar vimto. And then I will be making a pre-workout and taking it with me when I drop the kids off to school and drinking it just before I go to the gym. This is the harder than last time pre-workout, best pre-workout ever. I'm telling you, best pre-workout ever. Tastes like candy floss. Everyone I've got to try it has said like they would drink it as juice, mate. The flavour is just banging. There's no grit to it. Gives me such good energy. And it's basically something that's getting me through my workouts recently. Being in a calorie deficit. So... I really highly, highly recommend that. I am a sponsored athlete, if I do say so myself, for harder than last time. So if you want to get a pre-workout or any of the other supplements they do, then I will leave the link in the description down below, along with the link to the cookbooks and all of that stuff. So yeah, it is a back day today. Yeah, I do love a good back day. Back is one of my favorite workouts. I just love to train back. Love a cup of coffee, mate. Love a cup of coffee. I will finish my breakfast, go and train some back.
back day is done. Rashan came with me and trained today. How was that? Really good. Good, good, good. Basically on all of them exercise, four sets of 10 reps for basically all of them. And then after the four sets, we, on the fifth set, we did 20 reps on a like half in the weight or like light, light in the weight and do 20 reps. That's just a way that I've been training recently. I think it's really good. Go with the time under tension. The last exercise I did, the rear delt fly, we did three sets of 20 reps. And yeah, it was a good workout. And then I think the bent over row, we didn't do twenty a fifth set of 20 reps. And same with the single one, but everything else was, that was how we did it. And then I did a bit of posing. I'm not gonna lie, I only did like 15 minutes. I really can't be bothered. Like I just don't have the energy today. So I did 15 minutes of posing. I will do more practicing at home, like without a mirror and stuff. That's what I'm trying to practice now. Yeah, so we're gonna go home and we need to do some housework and then I need to film another video. Then I'll have lunch. So when I'm filming my video, I'll probably have a coffee. Cause you know, I like to sit down and film my videos with a cup of coffee. Oh my days, look. I look rough as hell. Need to wear the nice big jumpers these days. I've been cold. It is 1.15 and I am very hungry. So I've made a very big salad. Underneath all of that chicken is, that chicken is the peri peri chicken slices from Lidl's. 240 grams of chicken, 150 grams of Nando sauce. I've got some tomato. I've got cucumber. I've got some gherkin. And this salad, the bag of salad is like, the whole big bag of the Italian salad. So that was what, like 160 grams of salad? Oh, bang in. So it makes this massive salad. Ah, I love my massive salads. They just keep me full, satiated. I've got a big bottle of Impto as well. I will just tell you the calories in this lunch. In this lunch, it is 435 calories. So happy days, mate. I did see in my last video, someone asked for me to just do updates on my weight, which I will. So basically, I weigh myself every day. So I'll put the screenshot of my, my scale app there. As you can see, my weight is fluctuating. And I knew it. I knew it would fluctuate around this weight. This weight I'm at now, around 148 pounds, is where the lightest that I, I was before my bulk that I can maintain at and it's kind of like the leanest I could kind of get. But saying that, I am leaner now than what I was then and I've got more muscle. So it's, I know this point is going to be harder to kind of push through because this is like, my body doesn't really want to get much leaner. So I've got to kind of like push through this. I, screw, I screenshotted it and I sent it to my coach. I said like, listen, I feel like I'm stuck, I'm, am I plateauing? It's almost stressing me out a little bit that it's just staying the same now, like for like the past week or so. It went down to 147 and then now it went back up again to 148 and I'm like, I, would have, like, I sent it to him because I was thought he might be like, okay, let's, let's just move your calories down. Uh, but he's like, listen, we're not worrying about the scale, we're not worrying about scale weight. What do you care more about? Body composition or the weight on the scale? And I'm like, yeah, I know, but still. And he's like, no, listen, just trust me. Like, I will see you in your check-in next week, basically. That's basically what he said. So I just have to trust the process, but that's my weight this week. So today is 148. The day before yesterday, no, so yesterday it was 148. And then the day before that was 147. When I started prep, I actually weighed myself, but it doesn't, I don't know whether it really counts because it was the day after we went out for a meal for Ashley's birthday. I, I got uh, the katsu curry from Wagamama's. I got the, um, it's like the, the lower calorie version. I got that, that was so nice. That was like 600 calories for it and it was so good. It was literally banging. I, I've never been Wagamama's before, but I'm definitely got, gonna go again. I loved it. And then we also had McDonald's and I had a few drinks. So the day after was when I started my prep, which was, was I weighed 157 pounds. So technically I've lost about, about nine to 10 pounds since starting my prep, It's just quite a lot. The less body fat you have, like a pound of fat, you can really tell. So I know I've lost quite a bit, so there's no stress in, it's fine. So I am um, gonna finish eating this. Um, I'm gonna watch a few videos on my phone and then I will go and pick up my son from nursery and my other son from school. I finished my lunch and now I've got a big cup of coffee again. That's the second cup. I had my other like, cup already. I'm getting on with some editing. I got a call from the nursery literally just now that my son is a bit distressed and yeah, he's got a little bit of runny nose. I did his temperature and it's fine, but he's just like really upset today. So Rashan has gone to go get him. 
and yeah, so the, the nursery is actually around the corner from mine. It's like two minutes away, so they'll be home soon. Yeah, so I'll be giving him lots of cuddles. I don't know what's wrong with him. Maybe he's coming down with a bit of a cold or I don't know. Sometimes he gets really upset. He might be tired. I don't know. We'll see. And then get my son at three from school, basically. I'm cold, so... <laughs> always after lunch I'm cold so guys I've just got back in for my walk I walked to Ashley's and we walked back together so I have got 14,984 steps at the minute it is six o'clock and I am going to have my dinner so I'll just show you here it is you see it's I've got a chicken breast there and rice and green beans and cauliflower I meal prepped that so all I had to do was put it in the microwave and yeah, so I got 300 grams of cauliflower, 200 grams of green beans, and 145 grams of cooked chicken, 150 grams of rice, with 150 grams of Nando sauce. So that is a mad dinner, mm. and I am very, very hungry. So I will sit in the living room and eat that. I've got my bottle of Vimto. I'm gonna eat this, and then I've got to get the kids to bed. I've had a couple of comments, not that many, but just like, I think it's like two or three, asking why I am going to be competing, what have I got to prove and all this stuff, uh, which I do want to talk to you guys about because I know I haven't actually gone through my reason why I'm even competing in the first place. I'm hungry, I want to eat. I do need to get the kids to bed. So I will talk about that at snack time. I think it is quite important to talk about. So yeah, I will talk to you guys about that then. Switched it up with some cauliflower guys. Happy days, look at that. Love a bit of cauliflower. Oh, banging, mate, banging. Hey guys, it's coffee time. We love a coffee time with Ashley. I've got a lovely big cup of coffee. You've got a cup of coffee too. Mm. Oh, it's fucking hot. What would you expect? You just meet it fresh. I know. <laughs> and I've got two rice cakes. I've got 15 grams of peanut butter and skinny food coat apricot jam. Ooh, that's Mr. Gibble. Not mix together, I put the peanut butter and the egg for jam. That's weird. Peanut butter and jam. Yeah, but this is a different flavour jam. So? It's normally peanut butter and like sugar jam. Egg for jam is banging. But I'll just this time to explain why I'm doing a bikini competition in the first place. I mean, I don't expect everyone to understand because I don't think that it's for everyone and no one is in my mind and knows exactly, you know how I feel about it, but I just really, really want to do it. Like, I don't really know what else to say, apart from the fact that I want to do it. I'm not doing it for anyone. I'm not doing it for YouTube. I'm not, like, as much as I love you guys and stuff, competing is very, very expensive. To get to that level of body fat, it takes a lot of discipline. It takes a lot of hard work. It's, I'm going to be hungry. I'm going to be starving. There's going to be days where, you know, it's going to get really, really hard. I wouldn't do that if it was for anyone other than myself. So let's put it out there. But yeah, I'm just doing this for myself, basically. Like, I just really wanna do it. Obviously, when I started losing weight, I never planned to ever be in a bikini competition, ever. Like, when I first started losing weight, I just wanted to be less overweight. Like, I wasn't even thinking that I would look the way I do now, I have the muscle tone, go to the gym, lift weights. Like, I didn't think that I would love to weight train and all that stuff. Like, that was never what I thought I would turn out like, if that makes sense. I just remember thinking that if I was, I don't know, like 14 stone, I would be, which I don't know what that is in pounds, but I remember thinking if I lost 100 pounds or just under 100 pounds, I'm 14 stone, a size 14 to 16, and I'm just less overweight than what I am now, and just slightly overweight, like, I will be happy, like, that's just what I want to be, like, you know what I mean? So I never went into the journey thinking, okay, I'm going to do, like, a bikini competition or anything. But when I started weightlifting, I actually started weightlifting when I'd lost already about 80, 85 pounds, and I just started really enjoying weight training. I started building muscle, and I felt like... It just made me really excited to be changing my body, losing fat at the same time, changing my body composition, building muscle. I just found it really, really fun. And I really enjoy just pushing myself and working really hard and seeing my body change and changing my body, like bodybuilding. The whole concept of bodybuilding, I just started to like really enjoy it. And I love doing it. I love training, changing my body. That's not to say that if you love to train and tr push yourself and change your body that you should compete, if that makes sense. Like I'm not saying that, but... I just started to be really interested in, you know, looking at bodybuilders and like what they do and competing. And I just really wanted to do it, but I put off of even trying to do it. But yeah, I just got to a point where I was like, you know what, I really, I just really want to do it. Like I really want to be able to push myself and 
I want to be able to show, if anything, I want to be able to prove to my old self, like me, before where I was too scared to even go outside in a vest top because I was so worried about what other people would think of my arms, to now, like, I want to get on that stage in a bikini in front of so many strangers and stand there proud of what I've been able to achieve. You know what I mean? And like, just do it for myself. I feel like it's gonna, the mental discipline and the strength and stuff that I'm gonna be able to like build during this journey is just gonna like help me grow. And I just think like every time I've stepped out of my comfort zone and pushed myself, I've become better for it. It's just gonna make me so much stronger as well. And I just really wanna do it. Like I can't, I don't know what else to say. Like I really want to do this. I know getting to that level of body fat isn't healthy, but I am trying to do it in the healthiest way possible. That sounds a bit silly, but I'm not doing like any juicy vitamins as they call it or anything like that. I'm just training hard. I'm gonna be in a calorie deficit. And there will be a point where my body fat will get low where it's not going to be that healthy for me. But then I'm going to reverse diet and get out of that after the show. So, yeah, it's just something that I really, really want to do one time in my life and experience it. And I might really, really love it. At the minute, I am actually loving every step of the journey. Yeah, even when it gets really, really hard, I still enjoy it. I love to push myself and be uncomfortable because I feel like that's where you grow, you know? Okay. Yeah, mate. So that's why I want to do it. Might not make sense to everyone, and that's fine. But it's what I want to do, and that's why I'm doing it. So, I'll see what I put it. Yeah. You don't believe me? Go put some more in then. How dare you call me my <laughs> I want Ashley to watch the Tinder Swindler on Netflix. It's actually really good. Yeah, Michelle watched it, it's so good. Let me know if you've watched it. If you haven't watched it, watch it. It's actually so good. Yeah, that's it, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Comment down below a bikini, because we are going to be wearing a bikini. So yeah, why not? And I will see you guys in the next video. Do I do that a lot? I was just trying to copy you. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Bye.